Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today's topic is binary tree level order traversal 2. We are given a binary tree, we have to return the bottom up level order traversal of its nodes values that is from left to right, level by level from leaf to root. For example, if this is the binary tree, its bottom most children are 15 and 7. So that is going to be inserted first in the output array and then 9 and 20 and then 3 in that order. So let's try to understand the logic of the code and then we'll move to actually coding it. So we will use a queue structure to help us with this. So I'm going to declare a queue that can be used to help me with transferring the element. So I'm going to use queue and I'm going to use a helper vector that's going to help me transfer all the elements that I need to my output vector that I'm going to finally return back. So Q is a structure that is first in, first out. So let's get started to implementing this. So my first node is one and I'm going to put this in my Q. So the node one is going to get inserted first in Q and I'm going to declare the helper array that is going to help me with this. Okay, so now I have my uh, first node in Q now I can pop this. So I'm going to pop this and I'm going to transfer it to the helper array. And once I do this, now I have only one element in my helper array. I can move this to my output array. So this is my output array. So the first element that it is going to take is one. So it is going to get the helper array. And after it has got this, my helper array will be emptied. Also now the children of one will be poured in the queue. So children of 1 are 2 and 3 so that are going to be poured in the queue so this becomes my uh, new queue that has two elements now I know that my queue has two elements for this iteration so these two elements should get transferred to my helper array so first I am going to pop 2 and I am going to put it in my helper array after doing this I will check for the children of 2 so 2 has children 4 and 5 so that are going to get stored in the queue so 4 will get stored below 3 and uh, 5 will get stored below it okay and I will move ahead so the next element which is 3 will get transferred to the helper array now 3 has no children so my uh, queue just becomes this while 2 and 3 have been popped out now 2 and 3 which is the helper array should go to my output array 2 and 3 this gets transferred to the output array and now my helper becomes empty so my queue just has two elements 4 and 5 so I'll write it properly here so queue has two elements 4 and 5 now again so now the first element 4 goes to the helper array I will check for the children of 4 so 4 has no child so we can move over to the next element so that is 5 so 5 is going to get popped and it's going to get popped from the queue and pushed to the helper array now 5 has two children 6 and 7 so I will put that in the next elements of the queue and I'm going to transfer this complete helper array to my output so 4 and 5 is going to get transferred to my output as the next element in the output so I will uh, remove this bracket so that I can accommodate 4 and 5 now I will move ahead I still have two elements remaining in my queue so those are uh, 6 and 7 so 6 will get popped first 6 gets popped first to my helper array and 6 has no child so then we go to the next element 7 so that also gets popped in the helper array and now my queue becomes empty now I will push my um, helper vector completely to my output array so I will uh, push it to my output array so after 4 and 5 we have the vector 6 and 7 and this completes my output array now I will check my queue is empty so since my queue is empty I know that I have to stop 
iterating now i notice that i needed the elements in the order of 6 7 then 4 5 then 2 3 and then 1 but i have them in the reverse order that is starting from 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 7 so i will just return the reverse of my output so i'm going to reverse my output and i'm going to return that will give me the correct answer so we'll uh, try to implement this code so first thing that we have to do is we will have to declare a vector that we are going to return so vector vector int output that we will return now we will also have to use a queue structure so i'm going to write q and that is going to be of tree node star type and i will just write q as the name of our q now moving ahead first thing that we have to do is we have to insert the root element as the first element of the q so q dot push root now I can uh, just do a quick check here. If root is equal to null, then I can just return output here, which will be empty as of now. Otherwise I can iterate over. So I will have to give the condition check if the queue is not empty. So until the queue doesn't become empty, that is elements will keep pouring over from the queue to the helper array and then from the helper array to our output array. So I will have to declare my helper array. So vector int helper array that I have uh, declared here and I can also uh, take int n is equal to the size of the queue that is the number of elements that I have right now so that I know I have to iterate till all that elements are poured over so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so I have to pour all the elements in my helper array first and that will pour it to the output so right now what I can give is I can uh, give a tree node star node that is going to be equal to the topmost element of my queue that is the first element that I will have to pour to my helper array so tree node star uh, node is equal to q dot front after doing this I can uh, give the pop statement so q dot pop and I can insert this element in my helper array. So helper dot push back the element which is there. So nodes value that will get pushed in my helper vector. Now moving forward, I will have to check if it's left and right children also exist because if they are not null, then mean, that means I will have to push those elements in the queue. So if the right and left exist, first I will have to check the left element and then the right element because we have to insert in that order so if nodes left exist so if it is not null this condition will be true then I will have to push that in the queue so queue dot push nodes left otherwise it will not get pushed and then I can move forward to my next statement so if nodes right also exist I will give a similar statement push nodes right so that's it and after uh, exiting this for loop we can push the helper array in the output vector so output dot push back our helper vector so helper will get pushed back here and we can uh, finally reverse the output and then we can return that so reverse output dot begin to output dot end that is we are reversing the entire output and we can just return this output and hopefully that should uh, give us the right answer so let's submit and check so there is some error okay so we have forgotten to give a bracket here and after doing this i hope that it should be right now yes it's an accepted solution thank you for being patient and listening if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.